Welcome back to the overview of my financial literacy series titled, What You Don't Know Will Hurt You, which identifies extremely important financial issues that most people aren't aware of. My name is Brent Kempton, and the next installment in this series is investment literacy, which identifies aspects of investing that are crucial to doing it the right way. Adam Lushinsky, CEO of Charles Schwab. He had $3.2 trillion under management. He stated that if he has a regret, it is that the American savers still lack the necessary financial literacy to secure their futures. He made this statement in 2017. An important aspect of financial literacy is understanding key terms and how they affect you, such as defined benefits, defined contributions, and qualified retirement plans. Financial literacy involves knowing what stocks are, their varieties, and how best to use them. Financial literacy involves knowing what bonds are. No, not those kinds of bonds this kind and how they are different from stocks. It is important to know when you want to invest in income stocks or income funds versus growth stocks or growth funds. Another aspect of financial literacy is understanding market volatility and how to adjust your sales to protect yourselves from wind blowing against you. We'll revisit this when we discuss bear markets. Another important aspect of financial literacy is to understand charts like this and how they affect your investing strategies. Being able to do math using decimals is very useful. However, I have discovered that most people have difficulties working with percentages. Have you picked an answer yet? You've got three seconds. It always takes a bigger percentage gain to get back to even than the percentage loss that you took. This chart shows what it takes to recover from a range of losses. Note that the losses column goes up by tens of percent while the recovery percentages go up faster than that. For example, a loss of 30% requires 43% gain to get back to even. But if you lose twice that, 60%, you now need a 150% gain to get back to even, which is more than triple what was needed at 30. It is essential to understand risks such as bear markets. This particular chart's information was developed by Flexible Plan Investments. A bear market is considered to be a sustained loss of at least 20%. They found the following patterns between 1929 and 2008. The average loss was 38.2%. Bear markets happened about every five and a quarter, five and a third years. Bear markets last for about a year and a half. And it typically takes the investor another three and a half years to get back to where they were before. Per this pattern, there are less than two productive years out of every five and a quarter. The rest of the time, the wind was in the face of the investors and if they didn't have their sales adjusted correctly, they were being pushed back down river. Do you know how to keep from being blown down river in a bear market? Well, on that happy note, we are done with this session. Our next session will be investment strategies, which adds more to the topic of investing, as well as discussing important aspects of insurance and risk that could hurt you badly if you don't understand them. Once again, here's my contact information. 
You can stop the presentation if you need time to write this down or to click on the QR code. And thank you for listening. <laughs>